Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This I'm watching the Skyline Gang. You are watching the Skyline Gang. This is the world of Mummy and Oscar B. Oscar B's decided he doesn't want to help this morning. And that's fine. It's up and to you, isn't it? For breakfast, I had popcorn, Easter egg, and biscuits. <laughs> He's had a junk-filled breakfast. Um, I decided it. Some begins, I wanted it. Oscar, I asked Oscar what he wanted for breakfast, and he told me, and I let him have it, because it's Easter. I told, I told him the junk food. He's had popcorn, sweet and salty mix. He's but had some biscuits. Like the sweet one from from and a little tiny Easter egg, which I thought was hollow, and he couldn't crack it. I said, "Bite it, then it must be thick chocolate." And there's like a fondant inside it, so that's why it wouldn't break. Kind of glad it didn't, because that would have been a bit messy, and then he would have moaned because he had sticky hands. <laughs> so oh, I do not like sticky hands. that's what he's had for breakfast, and he's got apple juice as well. But yeah, he might join us. He might join us later. He's got his apple juice in a bud cup and a sprout curly whirly straw. And he's watching the Skyline Gang. So he's happy. He's good. I think we're both still recovering from our day to Butlins on Thursday. I will upload that video once I've that sorted it all out. Gang, so I have, yes. Under, um, I have uploaded three Skyline Gang songs um, so far. If you wanted to go and check those out. If you want to know what the Skyline Gang is all about, <laughs> give them a watch. Wait, wait, here. They might. They I don't know. I don't know if they can hear from here. I don't know if they can hear that from here. But anyway, on with the shopping haul. So today we have a delivery from ASDA, and this is it. Oh, was that focused or was it my eyes? I'm so tired. Everything's blurry today. There we go. Some rolls up there. There we go. That's a quick squeeze. There we go. Right. So let's begin. So we have. Four pints of milk. Green one. I'm really sorry if this keeps going out of focus. I'm not sure if it's my eyes. <laughs> my eyes on the camera. I've got a little milk. I was going to make a rice pudding in the slow cooker on Tuesday. Because um, on Monday. I'm going to use it to make a rice pudding. <laughs> People who don't want a lot of milk. We go through a lot of milk in this house. On holiday. Yes, if you're on holiday and you're in there a couple of days and you only need it for tea, that's fine. I've got two of these. Ribena, no added sugar, strawberry, we go squash. We, go we do go through them a lot. It's Oscar's favourite drink at the I moment. Have, I take them up tonight. I, I also have my cup and I take it up to bed. Yeah, I make him some for his, his bedtime drink drink but he still has vimto i've got another bottle of this so we've got two bottles of this now which should see us through this week um week, this week coming i'm in <laughs> i've got that for me because i'm enjoying drinking that at the moment mixed with fizzy water guys sparkly water daddy and mommy got me a take on police station pardon daddy and mommy got me a take on police station not mommy darling daddy's bought you that his dad's bought him a take along police station to have at his house. He's um he's build he's building up a collection at his dad's house now. So he's got a fire engine, a police car, he's got police motorbike, police motorbike. he's got a quad bike, three quad bikes, haven't you? Yeah. Um police and fire and ambulance he's got now he's gonna have this take along police station to play with there he's on a he's on about a fire station to take there <laughs> his dad went i don't have the room i said nana how i feel <laughs> oh yeah he said you're not turning it his dad said he's not turning his house into a toy shop we'll see as misty would say you'll see <laughs> it happens right you, you, you all know, house, right? Our house is like a big Toys R Us. Our house is like a big Toys R Us. Now, you all know, if you've got kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews or or you look I after kids... Me. Hang on a minute. If you look after kids, whatever, you know all of a sudden it goes from having one toy box to a house full and, and there's, there's, there's no transition. It's literally one day there's a toy box and the next day, boom, your house is full. So... <laughs> Anyway, I love it because all too soon he's going to be all grown up and he won't want to play with toys anymore. It will be computers and in his room and out of his friends. And I still want a computer at seven years old and he's bought me a little 
kid's laptop. I bought him a kid's laptop because he wanted a computer. And I said, no, I don't think he needs it. Seven years old. He doesn't need all um, that technology. So I bought I'm him a little gonna, kid's I'm, laptop with, like, kids' games and stuff. I'm, I'm going to prank Daddy and make this house into a village. You're going to make Daddy's house into a village? Yeah. Go for it, I say. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, um, the little kid's laptop I showed you in a, in previous videos. It just plays kids' games and stuff. But he doesn't actually use it. Use it. He just likes it to tap on the keys and play play the mouse. Pretend like he's like an office worker or a teacher or a doctor or something like that. So, and he's happy with that, and that's fine. That you know, I'd I'd rather that I sort mean, of play he than the keys from that computer. Start the keyboard. That's it, the keyboard and the mouse. So he's got that, and then when he gets a bit older and he decides he wants to play the games on it, then we'll charge it up and and he can play it. So yeah, back to the shopping haul. Anyway, I have two tins of baked beans because that's all that we needed. I have another apple juice. So we've got two in the fridge now because we're both drinking that. What else do I have? Let's see. I have onions, just because. <laughs> Why not? we have kind of gone off the red onions at the minute. We're back onto the those ones, brown, white, whatever you want to call them. You have. He has made himself a police station. I've got carrots. These were like nineteen p. There's one bit of a bad bit which I've cut out. Did I say he's made a police station out of carrots? Sorry if I did. I'm tired. 19p, them carrots. Can't go wrong there. They've got a whole load of stuff. Uh, 19, 19 or 20p, I can't remember. But that, Swede, um, carrots, Swede, parsnips, load of veggies. Get yourself down to Asda. So what else do we have that can go in that bag? Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings. Tra that wasn't me trying to do a bad Yorkshire accent. That was just me messing about by the way <laughs> 12 in there i did have the aunt bessie's ones there were 12 for one pound 50 these are one pound 30 and i thought well i might as well pay the 20p extra the price had gone up but the app hadn't told me and usually it tells you when there's a price increase and there were two or three items on there this week that it hadn't told me that it increased in price so i swapped them back for those i also ordered some maris pipe and potatoes for 80p um because they're on offer as well and they didn't have any of those so i've good whoop, good job i've got some left in the fridge um i've got apples for oscar oscar's happy because he's got all his skyline gangs uh signed while we were there so he's happy with that let me show you these cereals because they keep falling over so i've got these crunchy nuts they are bless you 500 grams 500 gram boxes two for five pound i have got two the other one's over there i haven't got water because we don't need it because we had so much last week that it's lasted two weeks so that's fine because they over delivered well they subbed my sparkly water for still water so that's fine and i've still I'm got sparkly water left you are in mummy's chair i've got these for oscar for when his crave ones run out you are in the front room I'm not going to show you where he is today because I'm on YouTube as well. All my birthday stuff's still in there waiting to be hauled. I'm on YouTube as well. He's on YouTube. I've got a bag of rubbish in there that needs throwing out that I was sorting out this morning. Um, I don't know. It's just a mess in that front room. So, yeah, we'll leave that be. You want to say hello? You can come out here quickly. Okay. Hello, you can help me with the last bits if you want. Yeah, we don't want this yet. Nope, not yet. You want to help? No. No? You don't want to bring buds and help? No, not yet. Come here then, let's say hello then. Let's show your face. Okay. <laughs> Kneel down. <laughs> Kneel down. <laughs> There's Oscar. Say I hi. had a rash on my knees. Like he that. did. He's got a rash on his knees, but I think it might be... Oh, Oscar. Go and get a tissue. I'm really sorry. That's really crude. Um, <laughs> you crude. Crude, yeah. Gross. <laughs> gross. Um... He's not even, there's nothing there. It's not actually running. He just feels like it's running, but that's still gross. Um, so come here then. Come and tell him what you wanted to say. I went, I can't wait for Sunday. You can't wait for Sunday. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't say the date, I don't think. Saturday the 8th of 8th, April, 2023. Why can't you wait for tomorrow? Why can't you wait for tomorrow? Easter. 
Easter Sunday. There's our little things. All right, then you'll go back to the front room then. Yeah. He's not. He's not interested in helping today. And that's cool. That's fine. I did have someone say recently that I should let Oscar help more. It's not that I don't let him. Of course I let him. This is his channel. It's his idea. Even though it's me that's doing most of it. Um, it's his idea. But I would never force him to to do this. If he wants to help, he can. And if he doesn't, then that's fine as well. And if all he wants to do is call out from the front room, that's fine as well. Um, he's fine. He's doing don't well. Um, don't be a troll. Yeah, don't be a troll. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it was I don't think it was said in that context. It was just like a throwaway comment. You should let Oscar help more. Like I kind of don't let him, but I do. Um, it's his choice whether he helps or not. Okay, so got that out there, and then moving on. Right, let's move on to the meat. I've got one of these gammon joints. They are on offer two for eight pound. Um. But there wasn't anything else there that I wanted, and that was only four fifty on its own. So I would have only say fifty p on it anyway. So I didn't get anything else because that's a waste of money. Like my dad says, it's only a deal if you were getting it anyway. If you're buying something just because it's on offer, then you're actually spending more than you intended. So yeah, I do think about that. See, Dad, you do your words do hit home. <laughs> Um, I've got this for tomorrow because Oscar's at his dad's for Easter Sunday dinner. So I've got a chicken curry with egg fried rice for myself. There's not... I'm, I'm not to get me chicken salad. Yes, his daddy's doing him chicken salad. That was Oscar's request for Easter Sunday. So we are going to have our roast dinner on Easter Monday, which is the gammon. It's going to be slow-cooked gammon, homemade roast potatoes, stuffing balls, pigs in blankets and veg. So, and Yorkshire puddings. Happy? He loves a roast dinner. So I'm going to have that. There's not many curries that I can eat because a lot of them have fennel and fenugreek in. And um, I was told that epileptics can't have fennel. I don't know. I don't know how true that is anyway, but I stay away from it. I did read it online somewhere. So um, I stay away from it. Anyway, I can have that one. So I'm going to have that with these because I haven't had these for ages. Garlic and parsley to batter breadsticks. And I may or may not eat all four. Let's see, shall we? Um, Oscar doesn't like them, so I'll probably eat all four. Uh, chicken and bacon pasta bake for me and Oscar to share. Uh, now, I might actually do this. I usually use... I usually use... Last time I did the beef, I used the leftover beef and I did beef and onions with roast potatoes and all the rest of it. But this time, what I might do is use, use the leftover gammon and we'll have half of this each, half of this chicken and bacon pasta bake each with the leftover gammon on the side. And I might do the gammon with onions and gravy and put that on the side of this i don't know i haven't decided yet but we've got that as well for a dinner um i'm just going to pause the video so i can move things over because i need another bag and they're on the floor with the food on so just give me a minute okay that's that done um i, I do this sitting down on the floor because it's a lot easier there's no room on the worktop i mean if you saw my worktop at the minute it literally becomes a dumping ground if you're in mummy's chair can you sit on your bottom please thank you um for stuff so yeah i, I put it on back sit down in the floor's clean anyway so right on we go it's not directly on the floor don't come at me look there's bags here um <laughs> and it's just been inside dirty crates without bags so yeah i'm pretty sure my floor's clear a lot cleaner than them crates i tell you some of them are questionable so moving on we have coleslaw we have baby potato salad, which we're going to have tonight because we're having chicken um, chicken and bacon in rolls. And I'm going to put the potato salad and coleslaw and cucumber and tomatoes on the side because that will be quite nice. Um, we've got watermelon. We've got two lots of grapes. Size of them. They're absolutely massive. I have to cut them ones up cut them in half before I otherwise I don't get that many in the in the bag right what else do we have we have yogurts that go with the grapes as you all know I pour that over my grapes for night time and that's very nice we also have three lots of these strawberries because these strawberries are actually quite nice look at them they're very nice grapes and yogurts don't mix grapes and yogurts do mix what do we think people do grape and yogurts mix 
thinks I think so. Oscar thinks no. We've got some strong kitchen foil. I did buy some strong kitchen foil from Home Bargains. Well, it pretended to be strong kitchen foil. It said it was strong kitchen foil on the wrapper, but it's definitely not strong kitchen foil. Trust me on that one. Um, and I don't like using the cheap stuff because, I mean, I've been using it for a long time, but obviously now finances are a little bit easier not a whole lot but a little bit easier i can actually buy decent stuff because i find with that cheap foil yeah it's fine for the price but you end up using two or three times as much because every time you say like i wrap this chicken take the slice out wrap it up when i unwrap it it all rips <coughs> excuse me so i'm ending up using another lot of foil to wrap it again and then the next time it might rip again so you 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 see so actually you don't save in the long run so i get i'm going to get the stronger one which will last longer um so we've got extra tasty chicken breast nice one this time 15th of april corned beef these were two for three pound fifty where's that corned beef from i always mind this because my dad says it should tell you where it's from. Packed in the UK with beef from non-UK countries. Oh, yeah, I see. So, I've also bought a big pack of this oven-baked dry-cured ham. This was like £3.25, I think. It might have been a bit more, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, packed in the UK with pork from non-UK country. I see what he's saying. I was like, oh, no, it's... it's it's British. No, it's not. Uh, okay. So back to the meat. We've got more meat. We've got some bacon. As I say, these are... I've got some bacon in the fridge still, but these will go for the chicken and bacon rolls that we're having this evening. And they'll also do... So that will do one roll each this evening. And then it will do the the homemade McDonald's breakfast patties, which we've got bagels for those because they didn't have any... <coughs> muffins and it'll do those as well and then i've got a pack of bacon for if we want bacon sandwiches or anything during the next week we've got eggs we've got we've got plenty we've got sausages we've got stuff in the fridge and the freezer i mean this is quite a good haul actually because with my asda rewards voucher and the deals that were on offer this was only like 65 pound and actually i'm quite impressed with that because although we didn't need like there, there are some things that aren't here tomatoes can you stop that a minute please thank you there's no tomatoes because we've got loads in the fridge and there's no cheese because we've got that in the fridge and, and things like that. But the, <clears throat> it wouldn't have come to that much more even if I had to buy all of that. And I'm actually quite pleased with that because that's £65 and there's what, there's about seven meals there. The chicken, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight meals there. So so that, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy with this shop this week usually i can go to asda and do my delivery and it comes to i mean look at the other week well oscar please 80 pound nearly and there was only three dinners on it so i'm pleased with this week we've got mince beef which will either go for mince and tatties which you like don't you or i'll do a cottage pie or i might um, stretch it to both because if i add carrots and onions and peas pretty poire from the freezer my my Pretty poor. I like them. I prefer them to all other peas. Um, I can stretch that, and that will do mince and tatties one day, and then cottage pie the next. Um, we've got three of these melon lollies to go with the other fruit items. I've got what's the one? Oh, yeah. Crispy tempura chicken mini fillets. Now this is what we're going to have tonight, but they're they're big. They're quite big, so we'll only need one, one each. So that will leave three for the next time and and that i might actually do a midweek roast with those three that are left um so or, or just do the chicken and bacon things again who knows anyway i've got so many possibilities i just chat through with, with you all with them um i might even do pockets we've got pockets in there so i might do chicken pockets in the week as well i've got two cucumbers there we go I've got some mushrooms for tomorrow because Oscar's with his dad. So I'm going to have egg and mushrooms on toast. Um, well, maybe not even on toast. I might treat myself to some fried bread. Eggs, mushrooms, tomatoes, fried bread, like bacon. Fish? Yeah, I do now and again. Um, might treat myself. Uh, seeing as my birthday didn't go to plan, maybe I'll have a 
a substitute tomorrow for Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, little gem lettuce. Might pop some of that on those. Chicken and bacon burgers tonight. Oh, really chicken and bacon burgers. Chicken and bacon rolls. Pork pies. A little bit burnt, but I'm sure they're good. Melton Mowbray. My favourites. I've got some snack pork sausage rolls. Again, really good. You do, don't you? In a moment, just give me a second to finish this, okay? I've got a loaf of Hovis bread, but it only goes for two days. So uh, I didn't notice that when I took it in off the delivery. I must remember to start checking because I would have had to send that back because we've already got bread to last the next couple of days. I like this. Uh, normally I order the Hovis and it goes like till the Tuesday or the Wednesday. Um, usually Wednesday, Thursday, the other week we had one that went right through <coughs> to the Friday. So, yeah, we've I've also ordered these and they've got tomorrow's date on. So that's really not good. <laughs> So, and there's our scotch rolls for tonight's chicken, bacon, um, rolls, which we're going to have with potato salad and coleslaw, carrots, carrots, cucumbers and potatoes, not potatoes, cucumbers and tomatoes. <laughs> I'm going to start that again. Forget what I've just said. Really we're we're going to have chicken and bacon rolls, with one each, potatoes. with potato salad, <laughs> coleslaw, cucumber and tomatoes do, do you know what the other day i was giving oscar coleslaw instead of cowpole uh, and I, I said come and have your coleslaw and he's like what i mean cowpole i can't remember um carrots instead of carrots and uh, carrots and potatoes instead of <laughs> cucumber and tomato anyway that's our shopping haul that's all of it done <laughs> I will now go and put this away. Um, Oscar's wetting himself laughing. He finds it hilarious when I'm at the state. And I do, I do, because I have a B12 deficiency, my brain doesn't work as well as it should. And so I do bloopers quite a lot. Oh dear, I'm very tired. So anyway, that's our, that's our haul for today. And as I say, £65 something. So... Not too bad. Whole load of dinners there. Plus, I've already got food in the freezer that for dinners. You know, like so we we'll never go hungry. I've got tinned things in in the cupboard and yeah. So, but this week I just decided what I wanted and I just ordered what I wanted instead of thinking, oh, I'll use this and use this. I thought, no, this week we'll just get what what I fancy for dinner, what Oscar fancies for dinner. We always talk about it, don't we? We talk about what we'd like for dinner over the next week and then we order it on the shopping and we do the shopping and I always say to Oscar, is there anything you would like on the shopping? Obviously there was no snacks on the shopping this week, crisps and stuff, because we've got plenty. Still, I bought, as you saw, before the Easter holidays, I went and stocked up on all that sort of thing so that I didn't have to buy it over Easter. And we, um, <laughs> we've hardly eaten it. So... Um, that will be fine for this week coming. But we are home this week coming. We don't have any plans a apart from Thursday going to Bodium Castle, as long as it's not raining. If it's raining, we can't go to Bodium Castle. Friday? Friday, possibly, yes. We'll see on the weather. But um, Cause I'm not going with the school this time. No, not with the school this time. He wanted Mummy to take him. So and Auntie Katie. We're going with Aunt Katie and hopefully... I'm to go up to the Batman and I'm going to bring... One of my Playmobil knights on my castle. Oh dear. He's going to bring one of his Playmobil figures, no. the knights, one of the Playmobil knights, and stand him on top of the battlements up on the Bodium Castle. So, yes, hope, fingers crossed the weather's nice. Hopefully, we can get to go there. But other than that, we've got no plans. So, we will be using obviously the snacks with, you know, lunch and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're going to say see you later. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all. Keeping well and enjoying life and having a good Easter weekend. If you celebrate it, um, happy Easter. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, uh, Easter Sunday tomorrow. He is risen. And don't forget, you know, the reason for the season, if that's what you, if that's what you believe. Jesus. Who rises at Easter? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. He's forgetting I think Jesus rises at Christmas. No, not at Christmas. He's born at Christmas, darling. So, yep, yeah, uh, happy Easter for those who celebrate it. Um, and for those who don't, happy chocolate weekend, because I'm sure you all still buy Easter eggs, because I know I would, because 
correct me if I'm wrong, but there is no other taste like an Easter egg. It's the same sort of chocolate, but it just tastes different. I don't know what they do. I think they put something in it when they're making Easter eggs. I'm convinced. Oh, dear. <laughs> but there's no better taste than an Easter egg. Anyway, we're, we're going to love you and leave you. And we'll see you for the next one. I'm sorry I didn't haul what I bought a few days ago. Um, I said I would. I think I did say I would and I didn't. Anyway, I've hauled this one. <laughs> we're going to do a Butlins haul. We're going to do my birthday haul with my birthday presents. And we're going to do all of those probably later today or tomorrow. At some point over the next week, we'll get it all done anyway. So, yeah, we will see you for the next one. Bye. Bye.